Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the range of listed data. Now the range of data is just the difference between the smallest value and the largest value. And the reason it's a useful value is because it tells us how spread out the data is. So for example, if we take these ages of people in the Butler family, it tells us how spread out the ages is because we can see the difference between the youngest person and the oldest person. And if you have a greater range, then the values are more spread out. So it gives us an additional way of describing data without just talking about an average like the mean or the median. So we want to find the difference between the smallest and the largest value. First identify what the smallest value is and the largest value is in the data. Now in this particular case I've made it easy because the values are in ascending order. So for A we just do the difference between the largest and the smallest. We do 42, the maximum minus the minimum of 5 and that gives us 37. So there's 37 years between the youngest person in the family and the oldest person in the family. And what about B? Now this one's slightly harder because I haven't put the lengths in order. Let's find the smallest and the largest. Well, which of these values is the smallest value? Well, it's the 10 here. And what's the largest value? Well, it's the 52 here. So we just have to find the difference between those two values. We do the bigger value minus the smaller value to find the difference. And that gives you 42. And we should put a unit, so 42 centimetres. And we could put a unit on this. This was 37 years because age is in years.